a few weeks ago I made the dessert bedelmet. That's nice and all, but the only dessert terrain I had were these obelisks, which limited the kinds of games I could play on it. The very least I needed were some hills and dunes. I started off with some pieces of MDF, which I cut into roughly oval shapes for bases. I used a knife, but you can use a bandsaw or a jigsaw here. Don't worry too much about getting perfect curves, close enough is fine. Once we're done, this will either be covered over, or the textures will trick the brain into assuming the curves are neat. Next, I bevel the edges with my knife. Whether you do this or not is up to you, this will mostly get covered anyway. However, if you plan to leave some space between your terrain and the edge of the base, this is a good thing to do. At this point, I glued some foam onto the bases. I used XPS where I wanted to have rock surfaces and expanded polystyrene where I wanted sand. You can also stack foam up at this point. Now, these hills are for 10mm gaming, so be sure to scale up the thickness for whatever scale you play in. The size I used is still usable in 28mm games, of course, the hills will just represent smaller hills. Once the glue cured, I cut the foam to match the base. There's absolutely no need to be precise here, you just need to match the general shape of the base. You do need to go a bit more slowly on the XPS so it doesn't tear, but it really doesn't take very long. Next, I took a knife and started to work on the rock faces. I made small cuts, pinched the foam between my thumb and the blade, and ripped the chunk out. This is exactly the same method I used when I was making the Bridge of Khazad Doom build with Mike from Net1 videos, but it sure goes out faster when you don't have to do 8 feet of rock face. It still makes a mess though. When I was happy with the rock faces, I moved on to the sandbanks. This is a technique I saw on tabletop Lenny's terrain, and now that I've tried it, I can tell you that it's a lot easier to make curved surfaces this way than it is by cutting them. Just rub the foam with your fingers and hands and let the friction do the work. Absolutely everything will be covered in tiny foam balls forever, but these slopes turned out real smooth. Once I had the slopes ready, I broke out the polyfiller, that's speckle for American out there, and started to slop it on the expanded polystyrene and the flat areas. I got some water on my hands and smoothed it all out. For the rock faces, I used the wet brush to apply the filler so I wouldn't clog the texture. You could skip this entirely, but it does make the piece a lot stronger. I left this to set for a couple of days to make sure it was completely dry. It turned out okay, a couple of minor cracks in one piece, but those weren't going to be a problem. Next, I sanded the filler down to make it smoother. You could if you wanted to make another pass with the filler and give it a second sanding so it's really smooth, but ain't nobody got time for that. After I dusted off the pieces, I mixed up some burnt sienna and PVA glue with a dot of dish soap and a little water, and painted this on all the rock faces. Next, I mixed up another batch of burnt sienna, PVA glue, dish soap, water and baking powder, and spread it on the sand areas with a wet brush. This works just like the acrylic coke based mixture I uh, used for the mats, but since I didn't need it to be flexible, I used PVA glue instead of the more expensive acrylic. Again, you could use sand here, but I find baking powder looks better at this scale. Once everything had dried solid, it was time to dry brush it with my usual mix for sand. Cadmium orange and Naples yellow. To make the rock stand out a little, I gave it a little extra dry brush with ivory, and that was my first batch of desert hill sand used then. Of course you could build these the same way and paint and flog them differently, so you have grass or snow covered hills. The building technique is still the same. I have also made a larger piece, which I have a more specific plan for, but that will have to wait for a future video. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you would like to see more terrain builds, check out this playlist right here. Bye!